Hi, I'm Katie Beth, and yesterday was Chocolate Covered Raisin Day, and uh, so I blogged about it being Chocolate Covered Raisin Day, and did some extensive research on the subject. And part of my research included an experiment that showed how you would drop a raisin into champagne, and then it would dance. And actually, this is one of the experiments that um, later was part of the whole dancing raisin commercial. Um, so I thought we would try the experiment today. I am not using champagne, I am using Sprite because who in their right mind would drop raisins into a perfectly good glass of champagne. So we're using Sprite but we're using fresh raisins and, um, and now I'm going to drop it in and we'll see what happens. Oops. Alright, one, two, three. Maybe I'll put... Oh look at that! That is really working. Can you see the bubbles at the bottom? The carbonation. I don't know why that one is sticking out at the bottom. Now they're going down. Now they're going up. And now they're going down. Look at that one. It's like a real like little wrapper. Dancing raisin pool. Some of them just are kind of lazy down here at the bottom. Yep. Another experiment that works. Cool. You see? This one just really likes to boogie. He's probably got star quality. This guy, old guy, now the two of them. Oh, wow. I think there's a little couple dancing going on. Up. Let's see. Bubble, bubble, bubbles. Down. Up. I think this one's a little bit of a show off. Okay, well, there you have it. If you'd like to try this experiment at home, um, you need a carbonated beverage that is clear, like Sprite or, I don't know, like Sprite, and a glass that you can see through, because if you couldn't see through the glass, then the experiment would be a whole lot less exciting, and some raisins, just plain ordinary raisins. I suppose a fresh is better than not. All right, so there you have it. Um, this is Katie Beth with another odd experiment that worked.